G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel for my weekly Wednesday game day squad update. Now this one is a particularly exciting one because I'm about to go away on a little bit of a trip and I am investing in my team because I won't be able to uh, do too much while I'm away and therefore I'm going for gold this week and I have loaded up and I've got some specific targets in mind with a bit of a new strategy. If you recall, you watched last week, I've been hit hard by the injury bug. Nick Haynes got injured with a concussion, so he's out for the week. Um, Oscar Rallon may or may not be injured, but I've had to drop him anyway, and he's a gold-listed player. And then uh, Machido Owens as well has got a concussion, and he's had a terrific year for me so far this year. In my forward line, again, another gold player. So. On the negative side, I've lost some key players there in my team, and my score was hit hard as a result. But on the plus side, I've made up a little bit of room in my salary cap because I have dropped a couple of gold players, and therefore I can go hard at the transfer market in this video and get some specific targets. In particular, you know that I've invested in my forward line previously. This week, I have got three targets for my back line in mind, and in particular, I'm going to be spending that money on silver status players rather than gold. They actually cost a little bit more in this game, but you get that 1.1 multiplier, and if you get enough of them, you can fit more of them in your team, and ultimately, it's just a new strategy that I'm trying. Now that Oscar Allen is uh, officially out of my 22, I can actually also put him on the transfer market, which, which hurts because I'm a big Nuffy Eagles fan, and uh, I don't want to get rid of him out of my squad, but because he's out of the 22 now, I think it's about time that I cut my losses with Oscar Allen. Um, I think he will improve his score once the Eagles are playing you know, better football and he's kicking even more goals to be fifth in the common or whatever he is right now is, is pretty stupid um, considering the supply or lack thereof that he's getting at West Coast. So I'm gonna have to put him on the market for 50 cents, that hurts. But before we hit the actual transfer market, guys, I have got some packs available. I've got a nine player common pack that I'm gonna open. Um, and the percentages are that uh, I think there's a 0% chance any of them can be bronze, I think. So let's open them together and see if I get any good uh, quality players before I go and spend the money on specific targets. So let's open them up. Here we go. Juicy, oh, that's uh, the dopamine rush that I'm getting. Cool, sweet, we've got nine players here. Let's do this. First one is, Lockie Murphy, a diamond Lockie Murphy, that's interesting, okay. We'll go back and review like what their averages are after that, but that's probably a bit of a swing and a miss. We've got a platinum Dan Houston, okay, so far so good. I'm pretty happy with that. Shannon Hearn, platinum, wow, these, these guys are good. A gold Finn McGuinness. Eric Benning, okay, not great. Zerk Thatcher, platinum, wow, is this, this seems like very unusual. A gold Jacob Hopper, that could potentially be good. A silver Tom Scully, uh, that one is potentially a long-term one because he hasn't, he's just been drafted. And then a Jackson Archer in silver as well. So not the specific players that I wanted, but that Dan Houston one is interesting. Let's go back to my squad and review how good these players are. So down here, you get a look at all the players that I have just recruited in uh, no particular order. So th this look first at Lockie Murphy, okay? So his, this PS uh, number here is exactly like his actual score. And this is with his score with the actual bonus that I get. So because he's a diamond player at 1.4, a little bit too expensive to actually crack my team. So it's an odd one here, he's a diamond, but it's costly to have him in, inside my team. Even though an average score of 104 is good, it seems unlikely that I'll be able to fit him in my team. So that might not be as valuable as I once thought. Uh, let's look at Dan Houston here. So. He is a platinum defender. Again, I don't know if I can afford this. That's the only trick. But look at his scores here with that bonus, 186 last week and an average of 137. So it's pretty juicy, but um, I, well, remains to be seen whether I can fit him in my team. And he is a defender as well, so that helps. Zerk Thatcher as well is, uh, okay, not really worth putting in my team, although a couple of handy scores in the last two games. At platinum, it's really not worth it. The one that we may use here though is a gold Jacob Hopper. Um, he did have a quiet week last week. He definitely got injured in one of these games too, but he's been fairly prolific. So at an average score of 121, it's decent. I'm probably going to wait and see on him before I stick him in my team because he's a gold player. It will, uh, it will be costly, okay? So he needs to be genuinely outperforming the other midfielders. Okay, let's go to the transfer market. So you'll remember in previous videos, I'd mentioned that I wanted Sicily, Hayden Young, and Will Day. So let's just look and see what they cost. And I will uh, first of all search Hayden Young. Now I did a little bit of pre-scouting and then there is a player here. Uh, there was a $5 one, I think, a silver one for Hayden Young. So thankfully it sorts it in the order of their cost. 
Make sure you don't buy like Lockie Young or Lewis Young. Uh, Hayden Young here for five bucks. I'm gonna pull the trigger because from a salary cap point of view, that's pretty cheap. And I think this guy is gonna only get better in time. So again, not just for the here and now, this is a long-term purchase. I'm gonna get Hayden Young. Great, now we've added Hayden Young to our list. Uh, the next one was Will Day, and I specifically want him as a defender in silver. Here we go, so he costs uh, $10. Do I have enough for him? I do, I do. What was Sicily's cost though? Let's have a look at his average, 121.8. Again, because he's a long-term option, gonna become a midfielder eventually. Uh, I think that is a solid option. But again, Sicily is also not that old and a pretty valuable player, $9. So it's actually cheaper to get Sicily right now. And his average is better. I'm torn here, I'm torn. Sicily is super consistent. I can afford both of them. I think week to week, I have a feeling that Sicily may be the better option, but they're both pretty consistent. Will Day's had a pretty consistent year and a slightly better long-term option. So week to week though, Sicily really has a bad game. So I think this might be the go. So I might get a $9 James Sicily and consider Will Day in the future. So before we wrap up that particular part of recruiting, I just want to see if there's any silver midfielders uh, that we can potentially look at improving the squad. Any of them cost less than 488. Uh, nothing really tickles my fancy just yet, to be honest. A silver Took Miller could be good for three bucks. You know what, I know he's injured, but this is a long-term game. I might pull the trigger on a $3 Took Miller as well. Cool, so we've made a variety of different moves there, and what we're gonna do now is just top up the squad with the best available players that we can possibly have, okay? So, uh, what is the weak point of my back line there? Um, I think Hunter Clark is the obvious one that comes out for James Sicily. Then you'd have to say Andrew McGrath is the vulnerable one. He scored 136 last week, because he had something like, what do you have, like 16 marks or something. Um, but I'm not trusting him to do that regularly because his average is only 92 and he can be up and down from a fantasy point of view. Um, I don't know if I can afford Hay uh, Dan Houston in my team yet, but we'll go and have a look at that shortly. But Hayden Young gets into that team. Uh, I'm alongside him and then I'll, I'll put McGrath back on my bench um, as a way of appeasing him because he, he can have uh, the ability to score big. So that back line is looking a lot more healthy to be honest. I could still improve the Redmond one, but he did get 130 last week, so I can't really complain. 98.33% uh, uh, of my salary cap. I have $200,000 remaining, and I'm not gonna be able to afford Dan Houston in my team, unfortunately. God, that's a tricky one. Okay, so I got a platinum Dan Houston uh, waiting in the wings, but I can't use him yet because I think I get better bang for buck having uh, Young and Sicily on my field, um, and I think they're gonna be good, consistent players for you know the short, uh, medium to long term actually. And then Houston, if there's injuries, I can rotate him into the squad. He does have the best average, but for the cost, he would cost way more and he would blow out my salary cap. So technically I do still have a bit of room in that salary cap, but I've got Machido Owens to come back into this side. So there's no point um, spending any more money for now. But that will do for the time being guys. I uh, hope you have enjoyed this update of the game day squad. As always, I welcome your suggestions to help me improve my team because I am still learning on the go here. But I think I've built a pretty good long-term team here, especially with the guys that I've invested money into. Uh, they're going to be good long-term players. So eventually, the turn will tide and the Western Stank Lords will hopefully be the best team going, but we'll see. Uh, as always, guys, you know, check out the link in the description if you want to play along. Uh, you, I choose to invest money into my team because um, A, there's prizes to be won each week. B, I do quite enjoy the, like, the building of your own squad um, element to it. So it's a, it's a fun thing that I choose to do. But you can play completely free. You're not really at a disadvantage at all because you get your weekly starter packs as well. So it'd be great to have you join the league in the True Footy competition. All the details for that are in the description of this video. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching the content, liking the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.